Got one more round, you'll need your resistance band on this one. So if you don't have one, again, go to Amazon and um, and and uh, just punch into the top one one half resistance band to get you one because we do use these on some of the exercises. All right, but we don't need that first. The first one you'll need your weights. We're gonna do goblet squats. So this is our last round of seven. So we're gonna hug our weights right by in front of our chin, right below it. And then we're gonna sit on that chair and then breathe out as I come up. I'm breathing in now and then as I come up. Okay, we got last round. Hang with us. Let me change. We got 20 seconds just so I can give enough time to what we're doing in between. So if you wanna do it, start in between, you can. So Three, goblet squats, two, one or two one, of your weights, and go. right below your chin, to one or both of your dumbbells. If you have a kettlebell, you can use your kettlebell too. Good job, Tina. Your back is flat. I should be able to read your shirt, whatever's on your shirt. I should be able to see it. Your chest is up as you go down. That's one thing about keeping that weight hugged by your chest. It's going to help keep your upper body balance your lower backs working your shoulders your biceps and yes your legs and heart are working great job 20 seconds to go we're going to be doing what's called assisted hamstring bends i'll show you what that looks like it's a little tricky 10 seconds you'll have 20 seconds in between three two three, one two, all right so one, looking at me you're on two. your mat we're gonna Bend ourselves back and then we're going to slowly go as far, slow, slow, slow until our body gives way. You're going to bend your hips first and then catch yourself and then come back. This is a hamstring exercise. So I'm slowly going back and then I'm just going to catch myself. Two, you one, might want to do this in go. front of your couch to have a, quick, a shorter, shorter distance to catch yourself or a chair. You figure it out, but you're trying to engage your hamstrings as you go down and then come back up. This is a lot easier when you have someone behind you holding your hamstrings. So if you have a partner working out with you, just pause it, go one, and then pause, rewind it and do the second one with your partner. So someone's holding on the back of your, your feet and it'll add that resistance as you go down. But you should be able to feel this just by controlling yourself like you're doing. You're doing great. Last 15 seconds. You will need your bands next. We're going to be doing a glute bridge. I'll show you what that looks like with your band. Three, Three two, two, one. one. Great work, guys. Two. So again, you're going you're gonna to make your band into a, a double loop and put it around your knees. We're going to do a glute bridge, which is a slight variation of what we've done before. So put it right above your knees. You're gonna put your soles together as you as you lay down to your back. Your soles together, Three, knees two, out, one, keeping those heels on the ground. You're gonna lift those hips to the sky and then come back. Lift those hips to the sky, come back down. So my knees are out, and soles together, soles of my heels stay on the ground, and I'm lifting those hips up, squeezing at the top. Some of you might get a little cramp doing this because it's a muscle group that we don't actively engaged a lot so that's if, if you have bigger muscles being engaged and like your hip muscles those glute muscles those smaller ones are not going to be liking this exercise but it's a good exercise we're going to be standing up for the x-band x-band boxes next last eight seconds good job guys three three two, two one so with your bands two. you're going to stand up crisscross like an X your bands and you're just gonna have to pull up to make resistance your heels are out your toes are together three things to focus on heels out toes together that's one don't bring your feet together and then don't three don't two make sure you're one, stepping and, and not dragging your feet so we're gonna go side we're gonna go forward we're gonna go side and then backwards so toes are in heels are out we're taking a three or four steps to the side three or four steps forward and then three or four steps back just making a little square or a box with your hips are forward make sure you're locking your knees landing in your heels you're walking in your heels don't drag and don't bring your feet together should be feeling this guys you guys are doing great 
going to be doing donkey kicks next on all fours. You can have your band or not have your band. I'll show you both options in seven seconds. Keep going. I know you're feeling it. Three, Three two, two, one. one. So Chill. on all fours, I'll show you without the band. You're going to bend that knee and then just lift up just an inch or two up to the sky. With your band, you're going to put it around your heel of that right leg and put it on your hand of the left arm and straightening those legs coming in and then coming Three, out. You can make two, it harder resistance one, by pulling up on a, getting that resistance tougher. So again, options are using your band or not. Tina's using the band, so again, not using the band, you can be looking at me. Whatever option you're doing, focus on your shoulders being pulled down your back, abs being pulled down. You can be on your knuckles if you have any wrist issues. You can be on your hands. That's halfway. Oh, we're going halfway. Oh man, I know you guys are feeling it. We've got 15 more seconds. We're gonna be switching sides. We are working just a little bit of our, our, our shoulder stability muscles on this one and our core by keeping that back flat. We're switching, switching legs in seven. And now three, we got three, two, two one. one. So Chill. switching your legs, guys. So we got that left leg in. Without a band, you're gonna bend that leg and just lift that heel like I've got a coffee cup right on my heel going up and down slowly. Got that band, put it around your heel, getting ready. And the band is around your right hand Three, now. You create two, your own tension. One, we're gonna bend that knee and, and then straighten that leg out like we're kicking a wall in. Bend that knee, straighten that leg out. Focus on that back, staying straight, flat back. Shoulders being pulled down your back, your elbows being straight, so not bending. If you may have some issues in your wrist, go to your, your um, fists. And then if you do have issues with your wrist, That's reach out way. to me. I've got a few options to help you if you, and when we do push-ups or anything, with planks, if that is discomforting for your wrist, reach out to me, I'll help you. 15 seconds, Tina. Great job, guys. Our last one. This is number six. Last one is coming. We're going to do our that glute bridge one more time to finish off our leg day. Three, Three two, two, one. one. So double, two. double those um, those bands. If you feel like you don't need to use the band, don't worry. You can take the bands off. Remember, your knees are out. You're going to put that band right over your knees. Knees are out. Heels are together. Lifting those hips up to the sky. Three, Hold it one, two, two and then come one, down. And so go. Lift up, squeeze, one, two, and then down. Knees are out. Soles are together. Your soles of your feet are together. So the whole foot is touching the other foot, the bottom of your shoes. Lifting up, squeeze, slowly down. Again, those knees stay out as you're going up and down. Last exercise, guys. Awesome work That's today. Halfway. It's always good to change it up. Typically we change up total body workouts today. We just changed up leg and core today. Way to finish the day. Again, you'll have one more opportunity to get a little quick cardio and back before your cool down. All right, in seven, six, five, four, three, three two, two, one. one. Your timer, timer is, complete. is complete. So press pause. Thank you.